right now on Operation Repo. It's a burger, right? Is that good for the environment? Damn. Chill out, hey, hey. Oh, oh. What's that? What are you looking for? But what? Oh. Chevy Cavalier, okay? And this car's been uh, tr uh, swapped over to freaking natural gas, and then. That's what? Natural gas. Hey, dude, can you please that? My brother was arguing me with me over Frank. You know, it, it's not just the fact that I have to go drive in the middle of a mountain with tiny little roads, but then I have to do that and listen to Sonia complain. <laughs> I can't deal with it. The bottom line is like, you can't tell man nothing because why don't we start complaining? You can't tell Frank nothing. So it's like me having freaking mad at the office. No, you know what it is? You got used to having people like me and your brother next to you that you say something, we just stay quiet and that's because we know you. But Frank and Matt, they don't listen to you. And you don't like that, that's the whole point. All I want to hear is what are we going to go look for? What's the next repo after that? And that's it. I don't need to hear about Frank and what her opinion on Frank is. <coughs> right here, right, homie. Whatever helps you to sleep at night is okay. Be quiet. A Chevy? That's the play right there, okay? That's oh, yeah, the, the play you know tells you everything. Hey, why don't you get off a minute, okay? What's there the yeah. Okay? Yeah. But man, when I took a peek in that car, whoo, car was filthy. Looked like a pig's die in there. Ooh, it smells in there. Once we get there, the car is a freaking mess. So now I got to deal with the car being dirty and try to open it up and pick it and maybe hook it up. And then there comes this girl. I thought that she was Sonia's sister. Hi. Are you Carolina? Okay. How you doing, Carolina? Uh, well, let me tell you why I'm here. I'm here because I have an order for repossession. For, I'm having an order for repossession for this car. No, that's so, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, I do. And uh, we can make I this do. easy. They're here just for my protection. <laughs> when, when the girl came out, she started arguing with Sonia. The first thing came to mind was panza contra panza. That means belly to belly. I'm the person in charge, okay? Hi. 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 It doesn't, this, this doesn't have to happen. I need, I need this car for work. This is what I do. So she says she's an environmental activist. Well, it seemed like she was more interested in lecturing us about our truck instead of worrying about her car and keeping it. Too bad, her loss. <laughs> do you know truck? that Ford is like the biggest, it, this is worse than a Hummer. This is worse than a Hummer. This is worse for the environment than a Hummer. Okay, well, I'm gonna tell you what's what, you know, it's good that you, you know, put this over to natural gas and, you know, you're helping, you know, yeah, well, it's there. Good. It's, it's, it's okay. what we all should do. Okay. It's what everybody should take their personal responsibility to make sure that we have an environment that we can actually live in. And nobody likes the sound of you coming home to their house and coming and taking their car. But obviously, she did get a little nasty. And obviously, when I started commenting on how filthy the car was, you know, and asked her, hey, do you, Man, I mean, do you live like this? My truck is like a gas hog, and it's gonna do this, and it's doing this to the environment, and the polar bears, and the this, and the that. And her car's a mess. What I do you think I do? I don't know, this is a trash bin in here. Well, of course it's a trash bin, because people don't take care of things. And then when I see, when I go and talk to people, as yeah. an activist, thank you very much. Activist? That's, yeah, that's what I do. Okay, well, I you mean, need to activate. I don't work. You, you I don't need work to activate people. the trash can in this place, okay? Um, Hot dogs are good for the environment? I'm sorry? Hot dogs are good for the environment? Do we really want to talk about what we're all eating here? Is that really something? No, that because you're talking about, about the environment. I see hot dogs and a bunch of other stuff that I know they're not good. Do you really want to see what's in my hand? It looks like Do a you burger. Do you really, really want to look at it? It's a burger, right? Is that good for the environment? Damn. That's what's in my hand. I'll when make sure. Take it? I'll make sure to put that in my report that you threw a burger at my driver. Oh, 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 oh really? Thank you. 
Yeah. Do me a favor, tell her to hook up the other side, because I don't want to go near her, please. Okay. No, 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 no. just keep her away. I don't know what she expected for her to do with that hamburger, but he kind of dodged it, so he didn't get whacked with it. Now, that was just a question. I mean, if she wasn't going to eat it, I, I would have ate it. I was hungry. But instead, she grabs it, she throws it at me. I'm like, I wish I could have caught it. <laughs> OK, you know what? I'm just trying to do my job, OK? I'm not trying to argue or I'm fight with you. I'm trying to do my job, too. That's what I need the car for. But I'm not screaming at you. It is a quiet little neighborhood. Everybody can hear if anything starts getting loud. We don't want anybody calling the cops because when they see somebody arguing with another woman and they see it's two people versus one, right away they have these ideas that there's something going wrong, like maybe we're stealing the car, or obviously this is another scenario, so they need to call the cops, they come in, and they just waste more of our time. You know what, my gas hogger, that, that smogger, uh -huh. I'm going to be that towing you need, your car so with that. that. I'm going to be, I'm going to be right. towing this crap with that, okay? So unless you want to give me the key, you'll be looking at my little hogger here, taking this away. Will that make you feel good? I'm not sure I want to make your job any more easy. Hey. I don't know, maybe it's a little intellectually challenging. I can care less. Go get it. Yeah, I'll go, go get fetch. it. Yeah, I'll fetch it. Should she give you the keys? Yeah. Do you want to tell you or you want me to drive it? I'll drive it. I'll drive her gas saving. The old economy. You know what? Maybe with all that money you're saving, you can pay your car now. You need to dump this trash. That's what you need to do. And take up recycling. I think you'll be real comfortable in there with the trash. Well, frankly, I don't know because my car ain't like this. I'd hate to go. One? I'd hate to go in your you path. Have one? I'd hate to go in your house. The only thing she cares about the environment. There's no problem with that. But we're not there to try to save the world and the environment. We're there to pick up a car that you didn't make a payment on. That's the only thing we're there to do. This is the dirtiest car I've ever seen. And that'll be a scary world with two Sonyas. What? I said, that would be a scary world with two Sonyas. You need to put a trap on that lip. <laughs> You're out, hey, hey. Oh, oh. Left, right? Yeah. Dude, this freaking place is like in the middle of nowhere. Dude, Moreno Valley. This is Moreno Valley. Yeah. Dude, this is too lonely for me. I need, I need some buildings. You know, I some lights. A couple of I clubs here and there. Oh my God! Like, what do they do for entertainment? I watch the paint peel on walls. What's wrong? <laughs> Dude. I really don't like going that far out for one repo. As you know, the further we go out, the more time it takes the less money we actually make. Because when you put the hours involved in going there and coming back, it takes away from what I'm gonna earn. What kind of car is it? It's a Chrysler 300 2008. Nice. That's a pretty nice. I'm just reading that. I'm like, yeah, that's it. That's the place? Like, crap. And there's a guy doing something on the roof. The only problem is it, it looks like, you know, the owner or someone that lives at the house is at the, up on the roof for the house doing something, fixing it, or, you know, doing something with it. Okay, let's, let's hook up the chains. When I say let's, I mean you also get to get off. Uh-huh. Do we get off? No, no, no. No, you guys don't have to. No. So we go around the corner, set up the chains, get everything ready. So by the time that we get there, all we have to do is just back up. Once we back up and just touch that car, it's ours. I had uh, came up and introduced myself and, uh, you know, the state of my business and asked him his name. He uh, told me who, who he was. So we had confirmed that uh, you know he was the owner of the car. I'm a recovery agent. My name's Matt Birch. I'm here to recover the Chrysler. What are you talking about, man? The Chrysler is being repossessed today. Okay. I was concerned because he, uh, he was up on the roof, working on the roof, and he had a hammer in his hand. And you know, from that height, well, actually, the hammer could have been a lethal weapon. Give me a favor, would you put the hammer down? Yeah, if you want to come on down, or if I, what? You want to make me come up there? <laughs> well, 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 Listen, I mean, you're, uh, you're not even allowed doing that. Man. Actually, yes, I am, sir. How are you going to get it out of here? Yes, I am. I'm going to drag it out of his up, nose. Dude. It's up to you. You can either give me the keys, or I can drag it out of his nose. Keys, you don't have the keys? All right, fine. I'll just drag it out of his nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Huh? Come on, dude. What? 
Now, the good thing is that the guy was actually pretty passive. He, he was not arguing. He was not really getting, you know, all freaked out and screaming or nothing. He just kept saying, hey, you know what? I don't like this. I mean, this is not the way you should do it and blah, 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 blah. How do you get it back? What's happening? Like, That's an intelligent question. I like that. Okay, how's you going to get it back? I'm going to leave you some paperwork. You're going to talk to your finance company. All you have to do is make your payment. You're going to get it back. That's not a problem. Are you kidding? You're taking my car? I wasn't prepared for... I wasn't prepared for how fast that guy was gonna get off that roof. So what is You're gonna make me come up and get this? Is that what you're gonna make me do? You're gonna make me... Just chill out, man. Just chill out. Hey, hey, So I keep seeing this guy picking up his hammer, bringing it down, picking it up, bringing it down, and looking at Matt and looking at me. I knew that that wasn't the best uh, situation for him to be in, being where he was. It looks like he took a bad step or something. I have no idea. All I heard was a big boom. By the time I turn around, the guy is on top of the hood lying down. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to be serious and trying not to laugh at the same time. And I was like, I, I didn't know what else to do. You all right? Don't touch him, Freud. Don't touch him. Don't touch him. Dude, I'm all right. What Are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? What the? Did he just touch you just fell off the roof. Are you okay? Do you need help? We're not bad people. We're not just gonna leave you there after you just fell off the roof of your house. I wanna make sure everything is okay with you. I mean, especially I don't want you to try to say that we pushed you, we did something with you. And he doesn't want us anywhere near around him. Okay, do you want me to call for help? No, I'm gonna call for help and I'm gonna call and get my car back. Do you, 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 you need help up or not? Do you need help? No, dude, don't just... No, man. Do you have the keys? Yeah, I do. So, just leave. So, I'm thinking, okay, you know, before he gets up and starts trying to do something more crazier, because now he's going to be mad because he just got hurt, I start hooking the car and, and let's just get ready to walk away. And once we walk away, we can try to help him by calling the ambulance and I can call Lou and call the police department to make sure that they know exactly what just happened. Are you sure you're okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I guess so, man. Why do you care? You taking my car? You know what, dude? You know, I, you know, I like I said, I'm not a doctor, so I didn't know really what to do. Well, he dented the car. Was that already there, or that happened when no, he fell? No, no, no. I don't know, dude. It okay. had to have happened. You did. have the paperwork with you, right? Yes, I do. One of the things can be that when this guy comes to his senses, and you know, being the fact that he fell. He can probably try to sue us by saying that we pushed him, that, that you know, that we pulled his leg or anything like that. Just so you know, we went to go pick up that car. The 300. The guy was, the owner of the car was like doing something on the roof. I don't know what he was doing, but I mean, he was really calm. He really didn't get upset or nothing, but he fell from the roof and landed on top of the car. Well, that can go two ways. Either the guy's embarrassed, keeps his mouth shut, and his fault, he's okay, or I'm gonna be in court being sued because he's gonna say that because of my team there, my guy, we instigated the fall. All right, as long as, long as uh, the guy didn't get hurt and we got it on tape that, that he fell on his own, that, that's his problem, man. But you, you guys offered help that, you know, he refused and I'm sorry. Yeah, so the guys got the car, repossessed, a little dead on the hood. The guy's ego was hurt a little bit. Done deal, life continues, go on to the next day, that's it. What's that? What are you looking for? Nothing. What? what? Oh. All right. Cool. Sounds great, man. Uh, outstanding. All righty. Okay, cool. Do, do you, can, you know this Lamborghini deal that we're looking for? Yeah. Can you believe that this guy has the nerve Okay, not only to hide it, not make the payment, but they have possibly the car at a foreclosed home. Here's the tricky part, okay? Before we went back to that house, I ran that address. And when I ran that address, I found out, unfortunately, that house was in foreclosure. And the tenants that were in there had two days to leave. Um, we've been looking for this Lamborghini for a while already. And the thing is, We've been to his house already a few times and the car is never there now. 
Anybody that owns a Lamborghini, they'll always park it in two spots, either inside the garage or outside the garage, but inside the property. They never park those cars outside. Here's the key, I'm giving it to you. Just in case. Put it in your pocket. This one. Which one? This, one. this black one right here? No, this one. This one. Were well, you sure? Yes. Hold on one second, let me make a YouTube. There's a, it's a car. We went to this house, and when we arrived, there was a car blocking the driveway in the garage, and the garage is just a bit open. Wait, See anything in there? Do, do me a favor, bro. Stick your head out the window. The, the garage is semi-open. Is that a Can you see motorcycle something there? rim? What is that? Can you see anything? You can see that there's a rim in there, but I can't really see that far, so I asked one of the camera guys to you know, zoom in and tell me what it is. Then that's probably it, dude. So when he said that, Troy, he's just like, that's it, you know? So anyway, so. So you wanna go knock on the door? No. So this is the magic, man. The magic of, of being tactical. I had every angle covered. No one can say I trespassed, I damaged the car, you know, I had the key, I had permission, I had a repossession order. Man, I was ready. Okay, here we go. Okay, now that he's, you see, I could be somebody just making a left, so now that he's gone, I'm gonna block the driveway, and you're gonna take your little tail over there and go verify if that's it. Oh, I can see another rim too. Yeah, I could see it from here too. Maybe it's stripped and it's just parts. It's not right there. If that's it, let's take it. Oh, it's, it's sideways? No, dude, we have permission to be here. We have the order for, yeah, hell yeah. Open up the garage. It's already open anyway. It's just, this, uh, nobody even lives here. The house is empty. I don't know why he's here. We're gonna, we're gonna need the go jacks. Here, let's clear this truck away. Go get the go jacks. Son of a When I seen this car sideways in the garage, man, I was just, I was surprised. I'm like, the extreme these cats will go to to hide this car, man, you know? Good. Yeah, just, you know what, just make sure nobody gets us. Here, go do the other side, I got this. Every little thing you can come up with, uh, an excuse, a way to try to block a car, try to do something to it so we don't take it, I guarantee you, whatever you think is gonna work, it's not gonna work. Ready? Yeah. Am I clear? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you clear. Right this way, I can get out. The repo was turning out to be pretty easy. Up to the point that we're about just to drive off. Does it really? Where you? <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Let's go, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. And I was just ready to go. Oh, he's back, he's back, he's back. God, you got, come on, Froy. Froy. Oh. Hey, who are you? What are you doing? What do you mean, what are we doing? We're repossessing this Lambo. Um, what? Or do you have any papers? What are you of talking course about? we have paperwork. Show me. Go get your paperwork. Hey, stay right here. I no, got the, pa the paperwork right over Go there. Get the, paperwork. the paperwork's in the car. Get the paperwork. It's in the car. Now, my guy's not going to get out of the car to get the paperwork. Well, I'm calling right the here. police. So. Call the police. Uh, go ahead. Well, they already know about it. You need to move your car is what you need to do. Right. Don't worry, we already called the cops, man. What's that? What are you looking for? Nothing. What? what? Oh. Come on, dude. Don't be stupid. Whatever, dude. You're a big guy. Yeah, Come I'm on. a big Show guy. Show me your papers. Yeah, here's the paperwork right here, about. okay? Nothing to worry about. Dude, yeah, because I will case. pepper spray you. So now he's blocking the driveway. After I moved my truck for Freud can get out, now he pulls up and he's blocking. I'm thinking, man, Freud should have moved a little faster with that fast Lambo. Good. Okay, that's Good. right. Good. That's the repo order right okay. there. Okay, is that you? Are you showing something? What the is this? What the is that? The repossession order? No, this is not me. This is my friend who owns a car. Then what the hell are you complaining about if it's not your car? No, don't get aggressive with me. Okay, well, no, because you're blocking us now. Okay, so I'm not okay. letting you take the car until you Dude, show me some. 
Here, look at some piece of paper. What's that? This is the permission from the bank. It's a foreclosed house. We already researched it. We already lost in foreclosure. You guys are supposed to be out in two days. What, this house? This house. What the, so you f Here's a repossession order for the car. Now, normally I will get up to go make sure that nothing happens, but I have a $270,000 car in my hands and I can't let anything happen to that car. I can't just get up and go try to help Lou. Now, Lou can handle himself. The finance company. Bro, you don't have to get aggressive. I, I look, me, all right, okay? look, just or relax. Go my fair. I'm gonna stop getting aggressive once okay. you put the bat back in the car. I'll put the bat down if you okay. want the pepper yeah, spray. I, okay, okay. Go right. so put the bat away. This poor guy, he was the owner of the house. The Lambo belongs to a friend of his, and he was apparently storing it in the garage. All right. This is my friend's car. Okay, fair enough, you know fair enough. Do you got a pin? Like, uh, imagine the situation okay. in reverse. Fair enough. I don't want any trouble. Uh, no, I hear you. I also, this isn't my I car. Understand. I understand, you know what I'm saying? I understand. Where's my car? Okay, brother, thanks, man. Hey, uh, move your car, please. We gotta run. Let's go, guys, come on. Let's roll. After all that hard work, all that tactical planning, all that collaboration, all that homework, we got the car, a very expensive car, and we have a super happy client, and we're happy because we get paid good money, and we're gonna have more work. Hey, that's you, <laughs> all right? You me one? <laughs> Trade in your Mercedes, man. That's not a bad idea. Hey, I get uh, a bonus, right? So, <laughs> all right, let's go to the shop, man. All right, I'll follow uh, you. Okay.